Hello guys, today I will explain how to manage a checkbook. This is part of the requirements for the FBLA financial math objective test. So let's say that you had $1,000. Okay. And then you spent 50 of those dollars um, on new uh, earphones, say. So the date it was 9 by 10. This number column on this checkbook here is just used to keep track of your check. So if you have a check number, you can write down the check. So let's say that this was check number 13. I'd write down 13. Um, the transaction was earphones. Earphones. And the withdrawal was $50, so 50.0, this is where the decimal point goes. So I spent $950.0. Uh, so, uh, sorry, my bad. I spent, so over here, you would write your expenditure, which is $50, so minus 50. And now over here, you write this. Because you withdrew 50, meaning you spent, so this is money which you lost, this is money which you gained, deposit. But because you bought something, you're losing money. So these are expenditures, losses, and profits. Now let's say on check number, say 15, you don't have to fill in the number every time. It's optional. It's just helpful to keep track if you want. So let's say I had on 9 by 12. Today, I was working minimum wage, and I got paid. So I was working at, let's say, McDonald's, and I got paid. A weekly salary as a 16 year old um, and I got paid $100 okay so 100.0 now I have plus 100 right I gain 100 I put it in deposits because you're gaining money so now I have over here I'd write the final number so $1050 and there now let's do one more just so that we can really be comfortable with this Let's say I bought food for my family. So this is, say, check number 17. And then I have 9 by 15, Uber Eats. Uber Eats. I ordered food online. And I spent 102. Let's add, uh, let's keep the numbers a bit more simple, actually. Let's just say 100. Then let's add a decimal over here. Let's say $100.5. So now I take 1,050 minus $100.5, which would be, and right now I'm losing 100.5, right? I write down. Now I do my math over here. So that would be $949.5. So there, that's how you balance a checkbook. And I hope you found that helpful.